masstutor.biz and massdvds.co.uk Lesson 7, Part 3 In this lesson on fractions we're going to look at what is meant by improper fractions and mixed numbers. So let's start with improper fractions. This is an improper fraction. Sometimes we call them top-heavy fractions because the top number is bigger than the bottom number. But the proper term is improper fractions. Talking about proper ways of saying it, I shouldn't say top number bigger than the bottom number, should I? I should say numerator bigger than denominator. But whichever way I say it, that is an improper fraction. Now an improper fraction is always greater than 1. That may be obvious, but I thought I'd say it. An improper fraction, being top-heavy, is always greater than 1, always larger than 1. Now, an improper fraction can be written as a mixed number. A mixed number has a whole part and a fraction part. So let's look at this again. This is actually saying 5 quarters. Now, if we think about it, 4 quarters equals 1. So 5 quarters must be 1 and 1 quarter. And there we have our mi mixed number. Improper fraction, mixed number. Let's look at another one. Let's put this top number bigger than this bottom number, or numerator bigger than denominator. This is saying 12 fifths. Now 5 fifths would be 1. 10 fifths would be 2. So 12 fifths must be 2 and 2 fifths. One more for luck here. 13 over 3. That was a big decision, wasn't it? Let's change the improper fraction 13 over 3 to a mixed number. Now 3 over 3 is 1 whole 1. 6 over 3 is 2. 9 over 3 is 3, 12 over 3 is 4. So 13 over 3 is actually 4 whole numbers and one more third. Change these improper fractions to mixed numbers. So 5 halves, 4 halves would be 2, so 5 halves must be 2 and a half. Another way of actually doing it is to remember that the fraction means the top number divided by the bottom number. Or how many bottom numbers into top number. 4 into 11 goes 2 fours are 8 and a remainder of 3. Which in fact we can interpret as being 2 whole numbers and 3 quarters. Let's look at this one. How many fives are there in eight? Well, there's one five in eight and a remainder of three. So that gives us one whole one and three fifths. Another one. How many tens in 23? Because a fraction always means top divided by bottom. Tens into 23 goes two and a remainder of three. So, 23 tenths is two whole ones and three tenths. Now let's change things back the other way. Change these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So, one and three quarters. The one is four quarters and the three quarters, which all together gives us seven quarters. Five whole ones. Let's change that to thirds. So if we actually say five multiplied by three is fifteen, then five whole ones is in fact fifteen thirds. And the other two thirds gives us all together seventeen thirds. Five and two thirds as a mixed number is seventeen over three as an improper fraction. 4 and 2 fifths, 4 fives are 20, 
So 20 fifths is the 4 whole, plus 2 more fifths gives me a total of 22 fifths. And the last one, 5 and 7 eighths. How many eighths are there in the 5? Well, if we go 5 eighths of 40, that's how many eighths there are in the 5. And the 7 eighths, giving us a total of 47 eighths. Mixed number, improper fraction, finished. So that is Lesson 7, Part 3, finished.